probably good, but we're just gonna make sure here. It's probably good. Let me just see. Probably good, but we're just gonna make sure. Yeah, I think it's good. It's probably good. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Alright chat, so what I wanted to talk about today was which players might be going where at the NHL trade deadline. So this player I wanted to talk about was Jacob Chickering. I think he might be going. So one of the teams that one of the teams that he was projected to be going to um, about a week ago was the Boston Bruins. But now Boston got Dmitry Orlov and Garnet Hathaway from the Caps in a blockbuster deal. So I don't, yeah, I don't I don't see that happening. But um, Jacob Chikrin, the top. One second. Oh, okay, that's just, I'm making sure that no deadline updates have been reported. Okay, I'm going to look up what are the top teams, but I just, I, I just want to talk about them first, so, and let me, might as well. How do you spell this guy's last name? Alright, I'm just gonna call this. What the fuck, bro? Alright. Yeah, the last name. Okay, fucking copy and paste. Okay. There we go. Okay. So yeah, the the, the first player I wanted to discuss is Jacob Trickerin. Um, chat, let me just see if, um, what, like, I, I know Boston's been a team, but I don't think they're going to go after him if they got, uh, uh, Dimitri Orlov, because their defense is basically set now. Like, I don't, I don't think they would, I don't think they would go for a war. Like, what, what would they fucking put, um, someone as a sad defenseman? I don't think they would do that. Um, yeah, Lawson's probably out of the conversation for Chikrin. Uh, top Chikrin teams. Like, who wants to trade for this guy, though? And you know what the thing is with Chikrin? We've been talking about this for three years with him. It's basically been two to three years. People have been rumoring, oh, Chikrin, he's going to get moved to Buffalo, to Ottawa. Like, no, 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 no. That was, this year, it's probably going to happen, but I don't know why people were talking about it so early. They were talking about realistic trade packages, right? That was nice and all, but it wasn't going to happen two years. It didn't happen, so it, it didn't. I don't know what the fuck people were talking about with, you know, two years ago, tricking being moved, because that just didn't happen, and it wasn't going to happen. So... Like, where, where where is he gonna go, bro? Could could he step? In? We all know. Listen, Chickering hasn't played since I think it was February 11th. He didn't play till because he was pissed off at the Coyotes organization for doing for not trading him the right way. So he hasn't played since February 11th. It's the 24th right now. Um, he's not projected to be playing until the deadline or the hockey guy. At least my source is the hockey guy saying that he's not supposed to be, he's not going to play until the deadline or until, um, if he doesn't get traded by the deadline, of course he's going to play, but he's not going to play up to the third, right? And of course, if he's traded at the deadline, yes, he's going to be playing. Um, one thing that I wanted to, yeah, I'm going to look it up now, like, because I kind of forgot the top teams that, I don't know. Jacob Trickrin. It's tough, man. 
the Bruins are out of the conversation now. Um, I don't think that the um, I I could see the the Panthers maybe trading for Chikrin. I don't know though. I could see the Panthers possibly trading for Chikrin. I could see the Canes doing it. Um, I don't see anyone really from the. I don't really see anyone like the um the Avs or like now the Bruins, like I just said, like these top teams because their defense is already really good, right? Uh, Dmitry Orlov is with Boston, so yeah, I could see the Panthers. Um, if Buffalo, if here's the thing with Buffalo. If Buffalo gets close, um, if Buffalo gets close to a wild card by, yeah, so probably it would, yeah, by the deadline, right? So yeah, yes, by the deadline. Buffalo gets close to a, to a wild card by the deadline. Buffalo might go out and the GM, Buffalo's GM might go out and say, you know, we, we need, we want this guy. We want to make our team better. Um, if we're going into the playoffs, like, we need this guy because our defense is not as strong as some of the other teams that's going into the playoffs. Um, yeah, so I, I could see that happening. I could see the, the, the three teams that I narrowed down to for Trigger to be going to are uh, Buffalo, the Panthers, the Florida Panthers, and the third team, I'm going to say the Canes. So Panthers, Sabres, Canes are probably the top three, but... Um, you never know. Anything really happens in this league. Anything can happen in this league. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it with Chikrin. Oh, let's talk about a, a, a realistic trade package for Chikrin. I think for Chikrin, one second. Uh, let me see one second. Yeah, I think for Chikrin, I need to look up, um, let's look up realistic trade packages. What do I know? Realistic. I, I don't know what would be a realistic trade package for Chikrin. Uh, I, I would definitely say you give up first for him. Right? Probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, just, I'll just see. I, I would probably give up first for that guy. He's amazing defensively. And he's an offensive defenseman. He's fucking amazing. A uh, guy can shoot from anywhere. You want him to shoot from the hash? Yeah. He'll fucking do it. He'll fucking shoot from the fucking blue line, bro. Alright, let's see. What are... Do the... No way that... Okay. I don't think the blues would trade for him. They're probably out of a playoff spot. But the thing, I'm going to talk about a player later that the Blues are probably going to give up a lot, a lot of assets for. It's uh, It would be a W for both teams, but I'll talk about that next, actually, which player that might be. And uh, So a trade package for um, Jacob Trickroom. I'm not really finding anything, but... I would probably give up like a first. Uh, it would probably look like Arizona's asking price. Probably a first. Possibly two seconds. And probably a defensive prospect, right? Because you're, I mean, I think it would make sense to give back a defensive prospect if you're fucking trading Jacob Chikrin. Like, come on. Uh, that's a no brainer, but. Um, Probably a first would be in there. I don't see how a first would not, and probably two seconds. Uh, maybe more than that actually. You you could maybe you could maybe do um, you could maybe have one second and then a third. So listen, you have um a first, a second, a third. Is that already too much? No, no. And then you probably have a defensive prospect. I don't even know if you need the defense. Here's the thing. I don't even know if you need the defensive prospect in there. Maybe just the first, second, and a third for uh for Trickering. Or you could do probably a probably a first and two seconds. 
I could see that. Anyways, um, yeah, let's 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 stop talking about Jacob Trickard. I think we all know that he's going to be traded. It's just the teams, at least the teams that I narrow down to, that he's going to be traded to. Panthers, Sabres, Canes are the three teams that I think are targeting him. Uh, let's see. One second. Uh. Okay, so now the Habs and the Canucks want to make trades. Hold on. What the fuck is going on? And Patty... One second, chat. We're going to be talking about these players. Not uh, Patty Kane, of course. Oh, uh, that's next, probably. Ooh. Okay, this is... Uh, I got to talk about this. Hold on. The second player, anyways, the second player we're going to be talking about today, that's going to be Timo Meyer from the Sharks. And I'm going to narrow it down to three teams again that I believe he's going to be traded to. So, uh, give me one second. Timo Meyer, second player. Okay, let's talk about Timo Meyer, right? There are so, ho, 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 ho many rumors about Timo Meyer for the straight deadline. Uh, I'm going to say, I think it's a little bit much. I think that, I, I don't think that the, like, people are saying that the Sabres, the... The Leafs are still trying to... They got Ryan O'Reilly, bro. They're not going for my fucking Meyer, bro. I don't know what the fuck some people are thinking. The, um... I heard people saying that the Caps are going for... I don't think the Caps are fucking going for Timo Meyer, bro. I, I don't... I just don't think... I don't see it happening. Alright, let me narrow it down to the three teams that I think Timo Meyer is going to. For the first team that I think that Timo Myers potentially be, could be going to at the deadline. Um, the first team, the New Jersey Devils, right? As a Raider fan, I don't want to see it happen. Uh, third team that I want him to go to, but that's the team that I most want him to go to. There are two teams that I specifically don't want him to go to. Uh, first is the New Jersey Devils. Uh, I just, you know, as a Raider fan, like why, I don't want to be jealous and in the if we're playing the Devils in the first round of the playoffs. This guy's going to fucking light us up. Fucking score. This guy's going to light it up, I meant to say. He's going to, um, what's it called? Score like four to five goals a game, probably. This guy's fucking crazy. Um, probably could get a hat trick. I don't even know. He's fucking insane. Um, what's it called? So, yeah, I think Meyer, the first team that's realistic for him to go to, probably the Devils. Um, the second team that I had in mind for him to go to, probably the Carolina Hurricanes, because even though as much as I hate the Canes, uh, and that's another team I don't want him to go to. But the third team is the team that I was going to talk about that I wanted him to go to the most, and that's the team we're going to talk about now. But for the Canes, um, yeah, I think they're they're a realistic option to trade for him. Uh I could probably see them overpaying for him. I mean, I don't know if their prospect pool's loaded, but, you know, if it is, we could be talking about a Meyer trade, an overpriced Meyer trade. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's really tough right now because there are also rumors about, you know, I don't like these rumors about other, like, unrealistic teams getting involved. Like, I don't, I don't see that happening, but... Yeah, uh, the next team, guys, that I wanted to, this is the third team that I want to talk about that I most want Timo Meyer to go to, and I think this is really realistic. Okay, over the past few days, there have been rumors now about the St. Louis Blues signing Timo Meyer to a long term. Um, they the, the St. Louis Blues signing Timo Meyer for a long term extension. This will probably be a W for both teams. Because the Blues would be willing to give up what I saw, at least on rumors, 
uh, the Blues would be willing to give up two firsts, and I think they would be get, they would be willing to give up a prospect that would be probably a forward, maybe even a a, a winger because of the return, right? Because Meyer's a winger. I what 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 the opposition does Meyer play? Let's see. Myers a left winger. Okay, so yeah, it would probably be a left wing prospect. Um, and two first. I think they that's what they said they would be willing to give up for Timo Meyer. The reason I think this would be a W for both teams. The Sharks get two fucking firsts, right? And they get a fucking um left wing prospect, right? Then on the other side, you got the Blues who are retooling, they lost Tarasenko to the Rangers, they lost O'Reilly to the Leafs. Now, speaking of both O'Reilly and Tarasenko, they're fucking popping off with their teams. Um, more of O'Reilly, sadly. I'm a Rangers fan, but more of O'Reilly because he scored the Hattie um, against Buffalo Sabres. So, anyways, um, yeah, so... Like I think I think the most realistic option right now is the St. Louis Blues, and that's the team that I most want to uh, trade for Timo Meyer. Because listen, it's a W for both teams. The Blues signed him to a long term extension because they're trying to. They're not just fucking. Sad. If they signed uh, Timo Meyer to a one term extension, they're fucking idiots. Like what the fuck are they doing? If they sign this guy. I don't think they would sign it to a one-year extension, though. But if they really do, that's that's fucked up. The Blues are fucking dumb. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't see why they would. They would probably be. They would have to be a long-term extension. It can't be a short one like a one-year. Um, it would probably be probably be like a five to seven-year extension, and I don't know worth maybe like I don't know, man. It would be maybe six, eight, seven mil for that. Uh, I don't know. They would probably overpay the guy, honestly. So, yeah. Uh, let's talk about the... Uh, what's it called? I'm probably going to have to hurry up here because i got to go soon, chat. But let's talk about the... Uh, that's the trade package for the Blues, right? Nah, I forgot it. The other teams, they'll, they'll figure it out. Like, I don't know what the trade... I don't know what the trade package would look like. Um, for Meyer. Probably something similar to saying, I don't know if they would give up two first because the Blues are really willing to do it, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, chat. The third player I wanted to talk about was uh, Eric Carlson. So, let me hold on. Eric Carlson is the third player that I wanted to talk about that's probably going to be traded. Carlson. The two S's? God damn, I'm shit. Carlson. Okay. That's two S's. Okay. Now, the reason the. Sorry, I meant to say. The rumors are that Eric Carlson's going to be an oiler. Uh, yeah, good luck with the Oilers fucking trading that shit for Carlson. I don't think they're gonna fucking trade for Carlson. Anyways, uh, yeah, so, probably, like, again, I'm at an errand out of three teams, like, always, like, the other two players, Meyer and Chikram. I'm gonna say the first team, the though, but they're still the least likely out of all these three teams. The Oilers, probably, uh, they were probably looking into Eric Carlson. But the thing is, what's the dude's name on Edmonton? Uh, the defensive Edmonton's, what's their, uh, they have a fine blue line, bro. Blue line. Their blue line is fine. Like, what the fuck? There's no way, bro. Nurse is good. Like, I don't think the Oilers are really going to trade for him, though. Um, Bouchard, yeah. But what, though? No, that's not the updated blue line, bro. Fan side's giving me nothing. 
They're not giving me anything, bro. What the fuck is their blue line? Okay, so... Derek, I think Derek Ryan, right? Yeah, okay. Whatever. Their defensive, their blue line is fine. Why would they add? Here's the thing. People are saying that Carlson would fit as an oiler. Okay, but listen. Why would they add Eric Carlson when they already have Nugent Hopkins? Like, I'm, I'm not even going to talk about the defense right now. They already have Nugent Hopkins. They have fucking McDavid. They have Dry Cycle. They have uh, Vander Kane, which I believe I think he's injured. I don't know right now. They have um, I don't know, but they have All Stars, man. They're a good team. Um, yeah, they're really good. And the uh, the the blue line's fine. I don't see why the Oilers are shaper. Anyways, uh, other two teams, I I really don't know. But I'm gonna look that up right now. What are our teams interested in him? Uh, are Eric Carlson. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Winnipeg Jets. Okay, I have two teams now that... I have two more teams, and I'm going to narrow it down to. Uh, the second team trap, I think that... The uh, I think that Eric Carlson could be a Jet next Friday. The deadline. I think the Jets could upgrade their blue line, unlike the fucking Oilers, who already have a good blue line. I don't know why they would need to upgrade it. People rumoring that are fucking are kind of retarded. But yeah, so uh, I think the Jets could potentially trade for Eric Carlson. Uh, I just you know. I don't know. I mean, it, it could happen. Their bone line is not the best. They they do have they have um Oh my god, what's the dude's name, bro? Uh Josh Morrissey, goddamn think of his name. Josh Morrissey. And uh he could oh my god, that could be disgusting. If you put fucking Morrissey and Carlson together can you imagine that blue line? You already have some depth too left on that blue line. But Carlson and fucking Morrissey, Josh Morrissey together? Holy shit, that's disgusting. Okay. Uh the here's the thing about that. Okay, let's let's go to the third team. So I think the Jets are possibly. The third team is I think the Seattle Kraken. Now hear me out. The Seattle Kraken. They need a better blue line. Their offense is pretty good. But their blue line. They need a better blue line. I don't see how they 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 don't want to operate it. So yeah, I think that uh, I think that they need to do this. Anyways, what would uh, what would they probably give up though? I would probably say a five. I think it would only take like one first. Oh no, actually maybe two. And uh, probably another prospect. Yeah, probably that. All right, let's go to the fourth place. Oh, uh, sorry, chat. I'm just getting my video. Let's talk about Ivan Barbashev. I'm in Barbershop. Alright. Barbershop. He's a blue right now. Right? He's a blue. But I, I do think he gets moved. I do think he gets moved. Um, now, the, the, the question is where does he get moved? Yeah. I, I don't know, but you think he gets moved, so uh, that's another player that probably is on his way out. I'm gonna look up. I'm a 
power shot. Would he be going to mini? No way. He's going to mini. You know what? Barbershop might be going to mini. I think that could actually work. Hold on. Barbershop possibly going to mini. Yeah, I could see him going up to the wild, guys. Now, I think that Minnesota Wild have... A pretty deep prospect pool. The right from uh Barbershop fits in there too. Yes, I think the Minnesota Wilds can do it. I just I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I think they would give up uh they wanna give up too much because it's Barbershop. He's not the greatest player, but he's such a solid player for that team. He would help that team. Uh, they need they need a little bit more offense, just a tad more offense. They have Zooks and uh, Carrillo, but yeah, I don't think that's going to do it in the playoffs. I don't think that's going to get you anywhere. Probably a first round exit. Possibly a second round exit, but you kind of need Barbashev, right? If you're the Minnesota Wild, so you can start. Anyways, let's go to the second team. Second team that I wanted to talk about. I think the Avs could possibly be going for him. Ads have a Avs have a decent prospect pool. It's not too deep. They have a decent prospect pool. The Avs I think they could probably get away with it with us. They could probably fleece the Blues. Um I don't think they would be giving I don't think the Blues would ask the Avs, yo, give me like give me like two first or just give me a first. I don't think they would even ask for a first. I think the Avs actually trade I think the Avs actually trade an active roster player for Barbershev because Barbershev can fit in a, in a role and replace someone so easily that the Avs, yeah, uh, Barbershev can take someone's position over really quickly. And that could really work out nice for the, for the Avs. So it's W for both teams because I think it may be Sammy Gerard goes. Barbershev for Gerard. I could see that happening. Bar Barbershop for Gerard. All right, third team I wanted to talk about. Let's see. Uh, what's a what's a third team that possibly? Yeah, you know what? I could see the Panthers. The Panthers. I I don't think the prospect pool is deep, but you know what? They're just like the ads. They could give up an active roster player too. They could definitely get away with that. Why don't they just trade Patrick Hornquist already? That's what I'm. That's what I'm fucking blanking on. Why don't they just trade Hack Patrick Horst already? He's not doing anything for that team. Anyways, I think they could do that. Another actor was. Let's talk about the final player. You all might know who it is. That is the one and only Patrick Kane. Patrick Kane. Now let's talk about him. Okay, this is a big one, right? This is this has been talked about since the beginning of the season. Ah, oh, shit! I have to delete that. Hold on. Patrick Kane is the fifth player, though. Okay. Um, Kane, right? Let's talk about it. There are so. Many rumors about Patrick Kane getting moved. Now, that chat, that I'm going to be, this could be fucking getting, so, okay, right. My favorite team is basically in the mix for this guy. They've been in the mix for this guy since fucking preseason. Uh, yeah, so, probably, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go from the least likely to the most likely. And y'all might know who the most likely is going to be already. <laughs> The most likely team, but um, all right, you know what? I'm gonna go. The third most likely to be doing this are the Golden Knights. Um, I think the Golden Knights, right? We talk about the Golden Knights, you talk about, I just don't know if Patrick Kane wants all that attention in Vegas, but you know what? If the Golden Knights can make it happen, you get Patrick Kane and you fucking call it a day. 
So they would definitely be asking for a lot because Kane doesn't want to directly go to Vegas, right? If you don't directly want to go to a team, you're giving up more than you actually want to. You have to because the guy doesn't want you specifically. But if you could make it happen and you want to invest in Kane, you, you make it happen. I just I don't see the Golden Knights doing it. That's why I'm saying they're the they're the out of the three teams they're the most likely. But you know what we could see it. I mean, they're more likely than other teams that are not in the top three for me at least. So yeah, Golden Knights probably giving up. Uh, probably could be trading for K. Not probably second team. That's most likely. I'm gonna say the Dallas Stars. The Dallas Stars could make this happen. Now, can you imagine? Pavelski, you could put Pavel. You have so much flexibility. You could put Pavelski, Kane, Robertson. I don't know how. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, do they? What's Robertson? What? I think Robertson has to be left wing, right? Wait, is Ra? Is Robo not? Hold on. He's a left winger. Okay, so that would work. You put. You put Pavelski at center, you put uh, Robertson left wing, and then you put Kane on the right wing. Yeah, that's disgusting. Holy shit. And then you already have Hints, and you have, like, you have Sagan, and then you have Ben. <sighs> oh, that's disgusting. That's pretty disgusting. But you know what is more disgusting? The team that could have been in the cane perfectly. That's my favorite team. Of I don't know who Dallas would give up. But... Alright, so the first team I think that's most likely for Kane is New York Rangers. New York Rangers. I think we already see a setup here for Kane. The jury, uh, jury has waived decision and um, Krastoff. Krastoff probably going in that trade. Crafts off two seconds, maybe more, maybe a defensive prospect like Jones or Robertson, Matthew Robertson. Uh, that could probably be the full package. I don't even know if they'll need to defend property. Probably would just be two seconds and uh, Krabby. Um, let me think though. So, yeah, the waving is definitely a signal that jury's going for Kane. I don't know though. Anyways, chat, that's what I think for uh, my predictions on where. Teams could go the most likely and the least likely teams. I about I narrowed it down to three or four. Anyways, chat. I hope you all enjoyed and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Man, that's the stream. Kind of a short one, but we went 30, 33 minutes. All right, chat. See you all. Uh, in the next stream, I'll probably be streaming NHL 23 later on today. Uh, depends on if I'm doing something or not. But yeah, I think I'll be live later again for NHL 23. Anyway, I might do another one of these on deadline day. Oh, you know what? I'll actually be live on deadline day to discuss what happened. So a week from now, next Friday, March the 3rd, a little past 3 p.m., I'll be live to discuss uh, what went down on trade deadline day, what's going down at the moment and um yeah that, that's pretty much it all right i hope you all enjoyed i gotta go so bye everyone